With the channel reaching close to 5,000 subscribers, which we're hoping to hit by the end of the year, I thought it was kind of time to do what is Cargument's all about type of video. Kind of who we are and, and what we are looking forward to in the years to come, hopefully. Um, this year has been an awesome year for us. We've grown quite a bit. I feel our quality has changed quite a bit this year as well. So we're really excited about that. But kind of a little bit of the history of our channel. Uh, we brought on Eli very early on as our camera guy. A cinematographer. Cinematographer. <laughs> So Eli basically started out pretty early on with me doing um, pretty much even just driving a chase car where we'd strap a GoPro onto it. OG. Yeah, the original ways of doing it. So that's kind of why he bought this uh, PSS too. This is our camera car. So I sit in the back of this hatch and awkwardly film him drive <laughs> cool cars. So from the beginning, before we got into any of that, really, we had to also bring in Justin. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Who is honestly our, basically our, um, what were we calling that? Audio engineer. Wheelman and audio engineer yeah. for the podcast. Which, speaking of podcasts, I don't know how many of you know that we actually do have a podcast. We try to post weekly. Uh, sometimes we were a little hit and miss, but we're trying to do weekly. I'm also a self proclaimed stunt driver. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> And that's also part of our podcast, <laughs> where we kind of pick, poke fun at Eli and his Hoonigan lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Justin, he has, we reviewed Justin's Hellcat, oh man, probably like when you first really started on this podcast. Yeah. It's been a while. And yeah. So what have you done since then, in a nutshell, because we do have to do yeah. another follow-up review on that. Yeah, I've done some, a uh, few things under the hood, intake, fully uh, tuned, so kind of give us more horsepower. Uh, a few things underneath also, just to kind of handle that torque, and some bigger rims and tires. Awesome. So that's yeah. pretty much the plan, too, going forward with the channel. We've had a couple updates on the Mustang. I still want to do kind of like a full review on, like, after the install of the Eibach uh, Sportline Springs. But we want to kind of have a build process on Eli's car, and um, some more is my car. I modify my car more, and then Justin. We're kind of left to just doing the follow-up on Justin. Justin's buying yeah. a bike. I, I sh I'm at about 150 <laughs> horsepower, and I really don't want to do an E85 or race yeah. fuel tune, so I'm kind of capped at where I can go easily. So Yeah, and but going forward, kind of what to expect, too, from the reviews, is when I started this channel, I never really wanted to be uh, that, that reviewer that was always just spouting off horsepower, torque numbers, cubic foot, uh, you know, of your storage space. I want to really convey the experience of driving the car. And, and that's what like car buying and have the fun of cars is the experience, not the numbers anyways. We pretty much want to review it all. We review small compact SUVs, super fun little hot hatchbacks like the that blue GTI we did a while ago. We just did a video on the new Arteon, which was really fun. That's a new model that we got to review. Uh, the, we did a Dodge Ram video. It, pickup trucks. We'll review pickup trucks. We've reviewed some brand new modified vehicles like the, the Atlas that we did recently. We even do heavily modified personal trucks. But I want you to really come here for the experience, the driving experience of the car. But it still will be informative and you'll know a lot about the car, but it's going to be tailored more towards yeah. what it's like to experience it. Manufacturer numbers aren't always accurate to how the car feels either. Yeah. They won't play. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we also, when, when I'm talking about certain types of cars too, because we I reviewed from SUVs, we've I've done Ferraris, Porsches, things like that, but I'm not going to be reviewing an SUV with the hopes that it drives like a Ferrari. So I, when I review a car too, the experience is how is it supposed to be? How was the car designed? What was it built to do? So thank you, all of you subscribers, for subscribing as, as far as you have. Please check out our podcast. Please uh, continue to like and share what we do. And again, thank you so much for all your support.